Hello, welcome to the Yarn and Yarns YouTube channel. My name is Angela and all of the places you can find me should be linked in the description box below this video. Welcome to my April making plans video today. Um, so for the last few months, I have been trying to pop up a video um, near to the beginning of each month, chatting about my plans or my making intentions for the um, next few weeks. Um, and if you watch my <laughs> March making roundup, you'll know that my plans for March didn't go entirely according to what I had hoped. Um, so I did pause for a minute and think, shall I even worry about doing one of these videos? Um, because sometimes life throws hurdles in the way and best laid plans sometimes don't come to fruition. Um, so I was mulling that over for a little bit. Then I came back to what my intended purpose for these videos are and I decided to record another one. So the idea behind my making plans videos are to try and give myself a bit of a focus, a bit of a path to follow. Um, if you've been here watching the channel for a while you'll know that I'm the kind of person who can very easily flit between lots of different projects and I often have many many works in progress across the various different crafts that I like to do. So sometimes it can be difficult for me to focus down on to anything and make progress on any one project um, and that's part of why I started these um, intentions videos was just to give myself a bit of a path to follow um, a way to focus in on a few things if I need it I'm choosing to view this as giving myself a path to follow rather than setting myself um, sort of immovable goals if that makes sense I think sometimes with goal setting there's a tendency to be very hard on ourselves if we don't tick that thing off the to-do list or meet that goal. Um, so by trying to switch things around a little bit and viewing it as a focus rather than a goal, um, then I give myself permission to concentrate on um, a few things if I choose. But also um, if I veer off and take another path then that is completely fine, completely acceptable and um, completely worthy too. So reminding myself that that was the intentions for these videos has brought me back to deciding yes I will record one for April. So as always I'm going to set myself a few different projects um, to try and work on throughout April. Um, the first thing that I'll be doing is I'm going to be rolling over the mending plans that I had for March because I didn't get to do any of those projects and again that's completely a-okay I'm not being too hard on myself about that um, it's just something that fell by the wayside um, but something that I'm still intending to do um, so I have three sweater projects that need some repair and adjustment um, so they will be the first things onto my April list and if I manage to get to one or two of those then I will consider that um, a successful endeavour. I also like to choose a project that I might like to work on on a daily basis. Um, so something that I pick up every day, whether it's just to um, add a row or two. I am pledging <laughs> to work on, on this particular project every day. Um, so for my April um, work on it every day, um, I'm going to be working through um, this amazing sock wheel, which... Um, will be turned into socks that will be donated to the West Midlands Ambulance Service. Um, so I'm hoping by adding a toe, a heel or a cuff um, every day, then um, this wheel will start to shrink. So um, socks for West Midlands Ambulance will be my daily focus throughout April. Um, alongside that, I'm going to pick four of my other works in progress to work on. And yes, I am going to be relying on an old friend here on the channel. I'm going to <laughs> employ the help of my dice to decide. I am in the great position where I am pretty enthusiastic about all of the projects that I've got on the needles. Um, and that's the time where I truly need to try and set myself a path, set myself a focus, um, because otherwise I might have a tendency to pick everything up <laughs> and not really make progress on anything much. So I'm going to roll the dice four times to help me choose four projects. Okay, so I have my, what is at this moment in time, pretty battered shoebox lid. That's just to help keep my dice contained. I've got my 20 sided dice and my prompt cards here. Um, so I'm just going to roll the dice four times and see what we get. Uh, so card number 14. And that prompt <laughs> is to work on something that's not orange. <laughs> 
roll number two is card four and card four is to roll again so the idea behind roll again was to make myself pick an extra project to work on so um, I think I'm going to um, honour the rolls it's not exactly what I had in mind um, but I think I'll pick five projects um, and then the idea will be to work on at least four of them and then give myself um, a bit of wiggle room if there's something that I'm not particularly enjoying or feeling then I can um, swap swap it out roll for the third time but this will be the second project of five 13 is to work on a hat interesting interesting I don't think I have a hat on the needles at the moment next roll is 19 um, 19 is sweater I can definitely work with that so two more projects needed so number 10 and 10 is oh interesting let YouTube decide okay so we'll have to have a think about that one and then the final roll hopefully is 12 and 12 is work on a shawl as always I had a lot of fun rolling the dice now I've got to do, try and pick some projects to go with these prompts, um, which might be <laughs> a little bit tricky this month. We shall see. Right, um, so the first um, prompt was work on something that's not orange. If you're new to the channel, my favourite colour is orange. And <laughs> if I wasn't careful, I would literally knit orange all day, every day. <laughs> but I do try and make myself not to do that so um, I need to pick a project from my um, works in progress that doesn't contain a speck of orange so let's see what we've got <laughs> might be harder than I think I only have 19 projects on the needles only five of those <laughs> do not contain some form of orange <laughs> so my choices are the Ursa sweater which was one of my 12 cast-ons of Christmas. Um, my moose, which was also one of my 12 cast-ons of Christmas. Um, I've got a pair of mittens um, that a friend asked me to knit ages ago and I started them but never finished them. Slap on the wrist for me. Um, and I've got the dude. <laughs> and I've got my Ali Bay Linde sweater. So decisions decisions that wasn't as hard as I thought when I thought about those five projects and really looked at them and tried to think what was calling to me the most um, it's my knitted moose this is one of my 12 cast on projects and it's a pattern that was originally published in this issue of making magazine this is the forest issue um, and it's a pattern by Susan B Anderson for this adorable moose soft toy and having made Dot the monster last month um, and enjoyed that so so much um, I think it's time to keep on a roll with the knitted toys this one's for me <laughs> and get going with my moose um, I'm using one of the Charlie Button Yarns uh, British Breeds boxes um, to make my moose, Charlie very kindly um, put together a custom box for me um, from some of her lovely British walls in the quantities that I hopefully will need to make this. So I've got everything in the project bag waiting to go. Now I'm not sure which order these prompts came out in. <laughs> I think the next one I got was roll again. Um, so I'm adding a fifth project to my list um, and the prompt that's popped up next is hat. Now I've had a look through my works in progress and I don't have any hats on needles at the moment but as luck would have it I'm about to film for a vlog the first in hopefully a new series of vlogs. I'm not going to say too much about it here because I really am um, excited about this fun concept and I don't want to spoil it so I want to save it as a secret for when the vlog gets released and the project that I have to cast on 
um, for this vlog is actually a hat. So I think this is going to give me the impetus to get that new video series started. So um, that's all I'm going to tell you on that one for now. The next roll was for a shawl. And I think I've got two shawls on the needles. I've got my Vertices Unite shawl, um, which was cast on for not this year's, but last year's 12 cast on projects. And I also have my Hitchhiker, um, which I cast on for the 12 cast ons this year. Um, and I think I'm going to go for the Hitchhiker because as coincidence would have it, I actually picked that up um, in the last couple of days of March um, because I wanted some straightforward, easy, um, didn't need to think about it too much knitting and the hitchhiker fit the bill perfectly um, so I think I am fairly close to finishing the hitchhiker now um, so I think that will be a nice project particularly as I've now rolled for five projects um, I think this one I could probably get off the needles in a few evenings so um, for the shawl project I'm going to hopefully finish my hitchhiker the next prompt was let YouTube decide so that's always a fun one I think this one might have come up the first time ever I played the dice game um, so I think last time I picked two projects um, and then asked folks to let me know in the comments which of the two that I pick you would most like to see me work on make some progress on um, and then um, after a week or so of leaving the video up for people to vote um, I would choose to work on that project so I think I'm gonna do the same here okay so I have picked two projects from my pile of works in progress um, for you to let me know in the comments what you would like to see me work on um, I've got four sock well technically I've got five sock projects on the needles not including the socks for West Midlands Ambulance I've pulled out two of the colour work projects um, for you to let me know in the comments what you'd like to see me work on um, so the first of those two projects is one that's been on the needles for ages <laughs> this has not seen the light of day for months and months and months my sister got in touch with me and after seeing a picture of some socks that I posted on Instagram um, asking me if I could knit her a pair of giraffe inspired socks she loves the animals giraffes so I designed a pattern um, to mimic a giraffe print I knit up the first sock sent it to her to try on um, and she was meant to return that sock to me um, so that I could finish it off I left the toe open so that I could make adjustments if need be um, so she was going to send that back to me and I would knit the second sock well, she never sent the first sock back to me. I'm sure she will one day. You know, we've been in a pandemic. <laughs> I'm not hassling her um, about this sock she may or may not want anymore. <laughs> but I do have um, the leg of the second sock started. So um, while I was waiting for her to try it on and send it back, I decided to knit the second leg because I knew it was if there was any adjustment needed, it was most likely to be in the foot. Now... She said the sock fits her okay, but as I say, she hasn't returned them. So before I sent the sock off to her, I tried it on and it actually fits me as well. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, I have decided, is finish this sock and knit another one for me. And then at some point in the future, if my sister ever decides to return the first sock, um, thereby indicating to me that she still wants wants these socks um i'll knit a second sock for her as well so uh yeah your choice number one is do i finish my giraffe inspired sock and choice number two is a sock that i started as part of my 12 cast ons this year and i believe the pattern is called winter deer um, and it's by Charlotte Stone of Stone Knits so i started mine um as part of the 12 cast ons and i've got um, part way through the deers are just starting to emerge on this sock and I've got two 50 gram skeins of this John Arben um, Exmoor sock and my plan is to reverse the colorways so on this first sock I'm doing blue with orange as the contrast color on the second sock I will do orange with blue as the contrast color should I work on the giraffe socks or the winter deer socks you decide <laughs> And then the last pump that came up was sweater. And actually I'm really pleased with this because I've still got several sweaters on the needles and 
um, in the back of my head I thought it would be nice to always be working on a sweater because I do have quite a few. Um, so on the needles at the moment I have my Ali Belinde sweater, I've got James's dude sweater, I've got pumpkin ale, I've got um, a weekender, a scrappy V, yes there's still more, mid coast and Ursa. So what's that, six, six sweaters on the needles. Do you know what? I think it's time. I think it's time I bit that bullet and made the adjustments I need to James's dude cardigan. It's starting to get much warmer here in South Wales, so I don't think he's going to need a chunky weight cardigan anytime soon. But this project has been the bane of my life. If you've watched my videos for any length of time, you'll know how I feel about this sweater. <laughs> So I think it's high time that I just got it off the needles, got it out of my life. <laughs> well, it's not going to be out of my life because hopefully James is going to wear it every single day that the temperature is below 20 degrees. <laughs> I might make him sit in the garden in high summer wearing it if I ever get it finished. So yeah, you've heard it here. You can hold me to it. The dude getting worked on in April <laughs> um, I can't show you the dude because it's in a big basket downstairs so hopefully that will give me a good selection of things to switch between during April depending on how the mood takes me um, the dude <laughs> my hitchhiker um, a secret hat to be confirmed my moose and a pair of socks you decide in the comments below um, I've also got my wheel of socks to work on and I hope to do some mending in April too so that's more than enough to be getting along with of course that doesn't include spinning <laughs> when it comes to spinning um, I try not to do too much planning ahead I've already planned um, as in I've pulled out all of those braids from my stash to spin through this year um, so as and when I need to start a new spin, then I just go to the cart and see what's speaking to me in the moment. It also just occurred to me that I'd like to get a baby blanket done for my new niece, who's due in a few weeks' time, at the end of May, I think she's due, yeah, at the end of May. So I've got my yarn ready for that, so I might pop a crochet project on the needles as well. Let's add that to the list as well, why not? <laughs> come back in a month's time <laughs> to see how many of the projects on my ambitious list of projects to work on um, either get finished or get any progress on them at all please do let me know in the comments below what you will be working on during April and also don't forget to let me know whether you think that I should work on my draft socks or my winter deer socks. Um, I think that's everything I've got for you today. I've taken up enough of your time as it is. Thank you so much for keeping me company. I'll be back soon with some more videos here on the channel. I hope you will join me for those. But until we get to spend time together again, I hope you get to do some of the things that you enjoy. Great big woolly hugs to you all. Bye for now. <laughs>